So here we are. I got contacted by this company, East Hills Outdoors, asking if I wanted to try out their hammock system. Now, after looking at it, I thought, well, not really, because I've got my double D. I've got my DD hammock and my top, and I thought I don't need this, but after looking online, on Amazon and all the reviews, I thought, oh, that actually looks really good. So, for anybody starting off, instead of going down the DD route, try this. So you get, you get a big dry bag. This all came, this is all packages. I'll put the prices, all the details, weights and all the rest of it will be in the descriptions. But that's a, quite a size dry bag, that. This is the hammock itself. So you've got compression straps, which can be adjusted like that, and then pull it nice and tight. So I like, that. I like the compression strap. It's all attached as well, so you're not going to lose it. And inside the hammock. You get, I'm not going to pull it out because it means putting it all back together. You've got the hammock inside. We'll see that later. I'm going to be setting it up shortly. The hammock's inside, but this, this bag is part of the hammock. So this is the stuffed bag which is attached to the hammock. I'll show that later on. I'll explain it better. These are your tree huggers. So you hang from. It's like a daisy chain effect. So you wrap it around the tree, and then in, in here you've got all the different adjustable, like that again, but they're all in like a line, so you can adjust it to the perfect height really. Daisy chain effect is good, because it gives you so many options. Right, and then you get, that's the bungee cord for your net it's got a bug net on it so you use that I think the only thing I would say is it hasn't got the spreader bars I don't know how that's gonna look when I set it up I'll find out see if it would have made a big difference but you get two of them tree huggers that's what you wrap around the tree suspension straps that's what they are and these can take so they say about 750 pounds immense weight that's like two people more than two of me at least. Inside the hammock there is attached on the end which again I'll show later when it's out and um, there's carabiners on either end big which clip to that so you don't have to muck about with whoopee slings and all that. So that's what you get in the hammock bag and this is the top you get with it. It all comes together as, as one. If you buy this you get this everything the full system. So you get a nice little bag, Again, nice little dry bag. You get the top, which is this colour. It's got a nice inside lining, it's all shiny there. It's might be really rainproof. Don't know if we'll find that out today, but if it does rain, I'll be ready. Inside the bag, you've got pegs. A few of them pegs, I mean they're not the greatest pegs in the world, but I'm sure everybody's got pegs lying about that they're going to use. And these are guy lines for your top, with the little runners on them. So you can tie them on, spread it out anywhere you want. And you get all that in the bag there, with the kit, with the hammock. You order that hammock there and you get all this gear. You can get the green one, which I prefer green, you can get a red one and there's a blue one. So that's what's in the bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out, back out and we're going to set it up in the local woods and see what it's like. So we'll, uh, let's get all this packed away. Yeah, good like, get a lot of gear in there for that. Just put it all back in the bag there. 
these oversized bags as well, so everything goes in. You could use that if you're carrying it like just on its own, but I don't know if I'll use that now because these two go in the panniers. But we'll see, we'll come back. And you've got all the, the different lengths. See the different lengths there. It's highly adjustable. Hooligans on motorbikes. Daisy chain links there. So you've got loads to choose from. It goes all the way to there. So there's all them adjustable lengths there. To get this end, it's got the loop on it. Put around the tree. Thread through, thread through the loop, lift it up, just tighten it, pull it tight, there you go, see ya, that's how it hangs there, the weight of the hammock will keep it, keep it from moving, so that's that, do the other one now, I'm going to go across there. Trees that were wrong between it's the ones I was between last time. Just knock that down a bit. So that was so quick and so easy just to hang them between the trees clip it in and it's, it just feels so solid I can't fault it I really can't fault it me that's got it in the wrong place it's not high enough I'll bring these straps up a bit higher I'll get that a bit higher off the ground it's just it's simply just to show you how quick and easy it is to get it up because you've got to work out your distances and all that you know what I mean you'll be all right with that that's fine it feels good it feels comfortable already so now that I've got the height adjusted what you want to be doing is putting the bug net up. And this is where I think could do with some different method. So it's got these loops on the top, and you put the you put the bungee through. Three on together, like. Let it down a little bit. Spread of bars would be better. I know you can use twigs to spread the, to spread the thing up, but get it up first. It's all right. It's not not much different to the DV. Simple knot in that up there, loop it on. Then what you would do is the same again up here. Simple knot around the tree, it's tight. Put it away, pull it, and it'll come out easy. It's just a simple loop. It's like tiny shoelace. And that takes it up. See how it hangs the bug net. So you do the same on the other side, but you need to you need to find a way. Unless you can live with it, I mean it might be alright. To spread these 
awkward actually seeing that. I think it may be alright. I'll come back, I'll get the other one up and I'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. It's a bit windy like. <laughs> Could do without the wind. So the carabiner system, it's all comes with it, you know. It just clips on, that's the uh, that's the daisy chain you hang on the tree, the tree hugger. This carabiner, it's all knotted ready. Feels nice and strong that. It's got a bit to hold my weight. And then you just clip it in. That's it. It's just a lock gate, it's not a screw gate. It's good, it feels very it feels very stable. There's a phone holder pocket there for you. Oh, this is a pain in the backside this wind. This is the stuff sack it came in, which is attached, so you, when you finish you just roll it all up into that. Which is a good idea. There's another another phone holder pocket there. There's another phone pocket there. Inside, if I can see in it. Oh, I've never known anything like it. Just taking it. Look at this. It's very light, that's why. So we'll get in. Inside you've got hanging hooks. I don't know if you can see that. I'm having a hell of a job here. Hanging hooks for your lantern. There's four of them. There's two there, two up there. So it's another good little feature. So you're gonna hang things from it. Whatever you put in your lantern or whatever. Well, what I need to do is get the tarp up and get that wind off it. So, yeah. Pop in fact it's blowing up like that, I mean that can't be hot. That's alright, that, that feels very really comfortable. That's it, that's as good as, if not, dare I say, better, easier to put up than a DD. Definitely easier to put up. It's just finding the right spaces, that's it. Right, let's see if we can get this top sorted. So when you get it at the last point, first time use like, I've got to tie the guy lines on. Done yet. So I'll do that. There's a big knot of guy lines there. Loads of them. So I'll get these tied on and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. You get these um, tree huggers here. Come down, you've got this. That might act as your drip line, you know. I think it probably will because the carabiner there is like a gap. So that would be your drip line for the rain. Same on the other side. That's all right. I've put some twigs over, spreaders. We're gonna get in. Zips. The other thing is, it zips off. This zip actually runs all the way round, all the way around, and you can remove the bug net, which is a good feature, because not everybody likes to be constricted by the bug net. See, it's zipped here. You can take it off. That's, that's quite good. You just left with a hammock, if you want a day hammock. So you got the drip line here as well. I'll just turn it around. Put it off like that. Yeah, so you can take the bug net off and then you zip it back on. Pretty good. Good idea that. Because there's times when I've been in that DD hammock and I thought it would be better without the bug net on. Mm. Right, I'm going to get in, see what it's like inside for space and for comfort. It's a little bit dark, but space is unreal. Look at this. Look how wide it is. You get two people in here if you would want to on that as a different matter. But with the spreader bars up, the bug nets. Oh, really spacious. So you zip on either side. Well, like I say, that zip goes all the way around so you can 
need to take it off. No, it's just this material that keeps the draft out. Yeah, the North Sea and the mesh keeps the bugs out, but like I say, it's all personal preference if you want the bug net on or not. You've got loops to hang things on there, like the same on the other side. Both sides. Mobile phone pocket here. So yeah, lots of space. Feels quite comfortable. Actually, you don't feel as constricted as you do in the DD hammock. That feels a little bit tight on here now. It tightens up. This one's got a lot more space. I'm liking it. I am liking it. I'll be using this again, definitely. And what a bargain, the price is unreal. You get all this. I'll put the price on because um, I think it varies, but it's not expensive. It's by no means expensive if you want to start hammocking. For a top, the hammock, all the lines, that's really a good deal if you ask me. I'm not just saying that. Right. Well, so after all that, I have to uh, give me conclusions and I think, is it worth it? If you want to start camping and you don't want to fork out for expensive, um, I mean, if you want to start hammock camping and you don't want to fork out for expensive stuff, I mean, this is not cheap, like, but what you get, you get the, uh, the hammock, the carabiners, the carabiners are not cheap, you want to buy them separately. Then uh, the tree huggers are excellent. I love the design of them with the daisy chain loops. That's really good. Um, it's comfortable, it's big, it feels well made. The stitching's good, you can take the bug net off. Is it worth it? Yes. Would I recommend it? Definitely. I really would, I'm not just saying that. I've got a DD hammock and I think I'm I'm going to use this over that because this is uh, taking me by surprise actually. It's bulkier than the DD, but I think for the price it's better. Only time will tell. I give it a few more uses, but it just feels really good. So that's my conclusion. Get yourself an East Hills Outdoors Jungle Explorer hammock. I'll try and put the link in the description. I don't get kickbacks on that. I mean, I did get sent this, but I don't get um, commission or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just giving me honest review. And honestly, I think it's really good. Honestly, I was really quite surprised how good it actually was. So there you go. I hope that helps you.